So a month ago, we all seen this footage from the photorealistic game called Unrecord. Now, there are still debates on the web if it's a real game or an actual footage from a police body cam. But eventually, the game developers demoed how they are running this game in Unreal Engine. And it looks pretty authentic. Anyways, as many developers saying, they probably used photogrammetry in order to capture real-world environments and use it as a map within the game. Obviously, they've added a few 3D objects, as you can see, because there are things that you can clearly say that they are not uh, captured by photogrammetry, for example, the barrels and the vehicle in the scene. But eventually, the whole experience looks quite realistic. Now, many people, and me among them, the first comment was, Okay, we want this in VR because it looks almost like a professional meal sim training scenarios. So this would be amazing for military users and the VR training of defense forces, just like I've wrote in my articles many times before, and also tested some professional defense simulators in the past. Now, this made me think, what if we take this kind of approach in order to build military simulators in order to train defense forces? But usually, building this kind of environments in 3D is taking a lot of time because you need to scan the environment, take pictures of it, and eventually model the entire thing in 3D and hire a bunch of 3D artists, environment designers, level designers, and it will take a few months. Now, there are different methods and new methods that we can use even today, for example, photogrammetry. Basically, you can scan your room or different environments with your iPhone, but it has its pros and cons, and eventually it's not the best experience in 3D environment, especially in VR. Now, there are different technologies and new technologies that we can take a look at, for example, NERF, and this enables AI-generated environment that you can actually move freely in the scene, but eventually the quality is not the best. Anyways, this made me think, what if we take a drone, scan an environment, and create a model, even if it's not the best in terms of uh, resolution and quality, and this will allow professionals to create scenes very fast. Now, this will be super efficient for military and the defense forces eventually, but I guess that in time it will be also cost-effective for gaming studios and uh, VR creators and uh, you name it. So... The initial idea is to scan an environment very fast, very quickly with a drone, which can be highly and super important for military forces because, for example, there is an intel about a terrorist hiding somewhere in a crowded uh, urban environment. And time is everything. You can't model a 3D environment by sending soldiers in order to capture footage and attract some terrorists' attention because that would be dumb, right? But you can scan everything with a drone very quickly, very efficiently, especially if it uses LiDAR sensors and stuff like this, new technologies, right? So this will be enough in order to model a 3D environment to allow soldiers to actually prepare for the scenario and eventually get a sense of the environment itself where is a window? Where is a door? Hostile forces might hide behind and place explosive and stuff like this. Information and training information that is highly uh, important for our forces, allies forces to capture terrorists and uh, get their job done in the most efficient and safest way. If you get an intel about terrorists hiding in some urban place, you can send a drone, scan the environment quickly in a matter of few minutes or maybe hours, and eventually bring back this drone footage and make it ready within hours to soldiers to train before they go to the mission. So in VR, as we know, learning experience is highly efficient. In VR, you actually feel immersed in the environment. Things that we can already feel in VR games and VR simulators and your brain treats the VR environment just like a real environment. So when you have a map, a 3D map in a game or a VR experience, your brain learns how to know this environment like you are really there. Like a new environment that you are exploring now in real life and you know where is the north, where is the south, where is the alley you just crossed and how go back to 
your hotel and stuff like this. So in VR, the same thing. You you land into a new environment, your brain explores it, and you learn everything. Where is the window? Where is the door? Where is the chair? Where is the uh, alley? And stuff like this. So imagine how important it is for defense forces to actually practice in this way without being in a hostile environment. And after they trained for every scenarios within this hostile area in VR, they can go to the real world environment and then be prepared for every situation, every surprise, every terrorist or hostile forces uh, picking from windows and jumping from the roofs and stuff like this. So you can understand how efficient and uh, necessary it is. And just like other AI technologies and breakthroughs, Nerf is also moving very fast. So it's interesting to follow this one. So imagine taking the drone and uh, scanning some crowded urban environments that your military forces or defense forces are dealing with, just like our Israel defense forces are dealing with. So basically, here's a body cam footage from a recent event uh, when our forces needed to actually capture terrorists hiding in crowded urban area in a very tough neighborhood with so many risks to our forces, but eventually they managed to actually do their job. So basically our forces are training together, right? Because last month Israeli Defense Forces and the U.S. Army had their joint training sessions uh, in Israel, just like Israel does with our friends around the world, US Army, UK, and you name it. And in addition to desert areas, they also practice CQB environments in crowded and urban places. So imagine trying to practice together in a sort of military VR world, or call it metaverse if you want, I don't like this term, but eventually enabling forces around the world to practice together just like we, the ex-military guys, do just for fun in military simulators like Onward and the games and uh, competitive uh, VR simulators just for fun, right? But there is nothing like this in a real world of military ecosystem. So let me know what you think about these kind of things. And if you've done some interesting projects with NERF or uh, photogrammetry and you have some tips to share, feel free to comment the video. Be safe and see you later.